Trap Tendo. Now, I know you're gonna love this, guys. I just wanna give a special shout out to Loot Masters, aka Plugin Boutique, for sending this to me so I can check it out myself in this first look video. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about Insta Scale here, which is a sibling to Instacord, which I'll have that video linked in the description box because I, I have talked about it in many different details. So, with that, we're gonna see how different it is from his sibling, which it is very different and very cool as well let's go let's get into the fat of this the daw of choice right now i'm going to use ableton live of course and i will show you how to set it up in fl studio setting up insta scale inside of fl studio is pretty easy all you have to do is access this little nut sign here <laughs> and then you will just go right here into the plug nut sign and then you will select your output port. You just select a port, and I'll use one as an example, and then you'll go to the VST of choice that you pick out, of course, because InstaScale does not make sound on its own, and you will select input. So output, input, and then you will just go from here and test it. So how does it sound? So it works in FL Studio. Now back to the realness. And now I'm going to show you how to set that up in Ableton. So I have another VST because Insta Scale does not make sound itself. So you're gonna need another VST of course. So I picked out a span because that's a dope VST by the way. And we're going to set it up. So first of all, you gotta select all ends and go to Insta scale 64 bit or whatever it will be on your DAW or operating system. And then in post, you select Insta scale again, and then you select monitor in. So that way, now when you mess with Insta scale, it works. So with that, I have a couple of sounds already selected for Insta Scale, and I wanted to use a piano because I know how you, particular you guys are about that. So with this, I'm demonstrating with the push. There are some things that I want to point out about Insta Scale. So I really do like the GUI on this one. It's not as confusing as Insta Chord. So that is cool. And on top of that, you know, you have all your basic scales in there. So that's really good adjustment by WA Productions. So with that, you know, you could have your scale that you want to use. And I'm going to go with a harmonic minor. Uh, now I want you to pay attention to a couple of things. Of course, you can uh, select a root key. So uh, maybe I want to do a C sharp or a D. You can just go ahead and left click on that and select as well as scroll through them. I'm going to go with a a sharp or I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna say a flat but uh, anyways you also can select from a first a second so let's go ahead and demonstrate that so first and then second And so forth so now how's the inner workings if you uh, pay attention to how my push is set up I have my push set uh, the scale to chromatic of course so I will have all just the chromatic chords but I could just go in in key and then uh, work with it this way because when it's set to C anyways that accesses just the white keys because you you don't use the black keys in this instance except for like rest if you pay attention there the H stands for a home uh, you can set up here different actions where you have you can if you don't like that home nearest home home nearest you can select either home home nearest home octave or whatever and so forth uh, you also can se select which key do you want your home key to be on uh, you can choose from all your notes. So you also see that they have numbers as well. So what these numbers represent is if you have a one, that's one note that it will go up or down. 
So positive will go up, negative will go down. Yeah, you get the damn point. Damn. So going into chromatic mode, I'm going to go ahead and set it back to home, which it means it will return. So if I was to play like a melody, and then if I was to select like a, a different root key, of course home won't change. As you can see, you can play chords, and you can, it's a good way to get like random ass like playing. It's, it's another way, just like how Instacord is good at playing different chord progressions and fingering, this is good at improvising. So, so and all you would have to worry about is basically how you would play it in terms of the home button. And then the rest button, of course, as you can see, if you want to play longer notes. So with that, I mean, of course, you know, if I was to go and select different sounds, you know, so you can actually hear it, you know, to make some decent sense of it. Perhaps you're not a piano guy. How about some mallets? So with that, as you can see, you can get some many different ways to play something at random and have something harmonically sound or musical. So it's all about what you want to do at this point. <laughs> boy you're just really rocking here so it combined this with like the push or even with a regular keyboard but with a push it just takes the push to another level so just let me know in the comment section how you feel about this because i feel really good about this is that uh, at a extremely low price uh, one I, that i should have mentioned a while ago but anyways other than that i think this is really good product i really think WA Productions outdid themselves again. Thank you to Plugin Boutique and Loop Masters, however you want to say it. I just really thank you guys for asking me to check it out. I'm DJ Av, Trap Tendo.